Welcome back to the channel guys, I am the Drunken Goth and in today's video we are going to be taking a look back over some of my previous restorations and more specifically, where are they now? Who owns them now? What sort of state they're in now? So without further ado, we row straight in with the first one, the Ferrari 365 GT4 BB, formerly of Elton John. So when this car first came to me, the bodywork wasn't in great condition, nor was the engine. Things like the interior were in relatively good condition, so that didn't really need to be touched. So the main things that uh, happened with this one was the body was repainted in its original colour and all of the engine work was conducted. Now with the old flat 12s that are in the 512, 365, the Testarossa, 512TR etc, they are, to me, they are a very beautiful piece of engineering. The engine is very aesthetically pleasing. So it's not really that difficult to make these look exceptionally good. I was particularly proud of how this one turned out. It did turn out to be a very, very beautiful car when finished. And with its history, with it having the celebrity owner, Sir Elton John, in its past, there was never really any doubt this one was going to be quite desirable and was definitely going to sell extremely quickly. So looking into where it's ended up now, the research that I've done has led me to find it went through auction in 2019 at the Goodwood auction and unsurprisingly it sold for a substantial amount of money. This one sold for £224,000. So I do have a small clip from the auction page and there we go. Next we have the Ferrari 365 GTB4 Daytona right and drive plexiglass car that I worked on. Now I've always been a huge fan of the Daytonas, I think they're a very beautiful car. I love the seating position and you can have a lot of fun with them, they're very exceptionally quick and with the seating position being very close if not on top of the rear wheels you definitely get a lot more of a pronounced driving experience especially when the tail steps out. Now the colour I feel really does suit this car and with it being the plexiglass front end it is quite desirable. So again this was pretty much no doubt it was going to sell for quite a lot of money especially in the condition I'd managed to restore it up to so with absolutely no surprise this one sold for £432,000 at the 2019 September Goodwood Revival Auction. Next we have the 1965 Ferrari 275 GTS. This was the 75th of 200 built, went through its Class E certification absolutely no problem. Did a lot of work to it, a lot of engine work, changed the colour back to its original Oro Chiaro and it was an exceptional car, beautiful looking car at the end of it. And this one, as far as my research can tell, last sold in Villa Erba 2013 and sold for just under €800,000. Finally we have one that I'm particularly proud of, the Ferrari 365 GTC4 chassis 15711. Now I really enjoyed restoring this car, it's an exceptional bit of kit and the colour and interior change to what it is now really does make the car. It's an exceptional bit of kit and I really do love these. Now as far as I can tell from research, after I finished restoring it, the client who I restored it for sold it to a museum. It spent a bit of time in a museum, until now it has resurfaced again. It is currently for sale on Car and Classic at the moment at time of recording and is listed as POA unsurprisingly as it will no doubt be very expensive due to the condition it's in and quite proudly as the advert states and as many people have said before it is likely one of the finest restore examples of a GTC4. Well that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed the video please drop a like on it please subscribe to the channel and I will see you all on the next one bye bye